All right, once again, we're looking at translating sentences into, in this case, inequalities. The process is essentially the same as when we were translating words into equations. The difference is, is that we need to look at indicators of what the inequality is. Which sign is it? There's a chart that you should review and know all of the key words to indicate uh, what the inequality is, uh, the, the sign of the inequality, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, so on and so forth. Uh, make sure you know all of those terms before you attempt these problems, or at least have that chart handy until you get them down. And, and hopefully by the time you get to the homework, uh, homework problems, you can not reference that, that table, because you won't have that table when you get to the exams. Now all that said, we're asked to translate and solve uh, this sentence, and then graph the solution on the number line, and write the solution in interval notation. So 19 less than p is no less than 47. So we need to focus in on these words right here, no less than. So what does no less than mean? No less than means it's greater than or equal to, because 47 is included since it's no less than, and it's greater than or equal to because well, it's no less than. It's not less than. You could translate it as that. So this is greater than or equal to. So 19 less than P. That's P minus 19 is no less than, greater than or equal to, 47. We add 19 to both sides, and we get P is greater than or equal to 66. So if we graph that on a number line, We'll call this 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Now, it, again, because it's greater than or equal to, it includes that equal, we can put a bracket at 66, or we can put a closed circle. Either one is fine. And I'll go ahead and make this a different color so we can see it better. And it goes to the right because it's greater than or equal to no less than and an in interval notation we put a bracket on the left hand side because it includes the endpoint 66 and we're going infinitely in the positive direction so an in interval notation it would be bracket 66 comma infinity and then a parenthesis because when we're going to infinity in either direction uh, it's always considered non-inclusive because you can't include infinity